Morning guys and welcome to day two, lesson two of your plan. So hope everybody enjoyed the video yesterday, started to get to grips with it. As I've said, you know, week one this week is all about mindset, it's about confidence, it's about self-belief and it's about getting to grips with what's going on between here so we can start controlling the body, okay? You won't find this on any other course that you see PTs do. You know, these fat loss plans, these diet plans, all they concentrate on is food, which is usually way over restrictive, exercise, which is usually way too disruptive on your life, and no accountability, no mindset, no confidence, no learning to deal with overwhelm, self-sabotage, you know, failures, any of these types of things. So yeah, do tune in this week and make sure you're doing the homework, make sure we're doing all these videos, make sure we're watching them. I'm gonna be checking up on you guys. Massive props to everybody yesterday who went through their why or introduced themselves. And yeah, that's what it's all about, okay? It's coming out of your comfort zone and you will get stronger and stronger and build your character more and more every single time you do this, okay? Every time we do something difficult, every time we bust through an obstacle, every time we have a bereavement or lose a job or lose a partner or go through a difficult relationship or, you know, get injured and get back up, any of these types of things, you have to start to understand that's not just you, that's life. Those things are your blessings and they are the foundations of building a strong character, okay? We cannot get strong without going through a certain amount of pain and a certain amount of difficult situations. And as they say, if your roots don't reach right down into hell, then your branches will never be able to grow up into heaven. So remember that one. So this morning's talk, we're on day two, okay? And we're gonna talk about self-doubt and confidence and the balance between the two, okay? And we're also going to talk about understanding the problem and being honest, okay? So, I'll have a green tea in the morning. Everyone starts out, on their latest fat loss journey, build muscle quick journey, get rich quick journey, whatever journey it is, and they go straight to the plan, okay? We're looking for the silver bullet. We're looking to do everything that we've done in the past that everyone does, okay? I spent 12, 15 years of my life looking for the perfect coach before realizing that every single coach was pretty much the same, but I hadn't assessed what the problem was. The problem was me, the problem was my behaviors, and it's absolutely impossible to apply and do the plan if we don't first fully understand the problem. So if you are really unfit, why are you really unfit? What behaviors led to that? If you're really overweight, why are you really overweight? what behaviours led to that. If you constantly end up in either abusive or fractious relationships, well, why do you always end up in them? What, where are you finding these people? What attributes are you looking for in a person? You know, so we need to understand the issue, okay? If it's down to happiness, then we need to understand why we're unhappy. Is it the relationship? Is it the body? Is it money? Is it the job? Is it the career? You know, we got we got to get deep and understand what it is we're trying to fix and what led us to be there before we start looking at fixing the problem. Okay, that's why you haven't had your nutrition plans yet, and that's why you haven't had your training plans yet, and that's why you've got this free week um, to get the noggin under control and stop letting your worst enemy live here because we all do that and I did that for years. So we're going to break it down into a seesaw, okay? Everybody loves this. One of the best lectures I've delivered and it always resonates with people. Those who apply it 
don't doubt it, absolutely rock it forward, okay? So we need to understand that these two things are on opposite sides of the pendulum, okay? So if we've got loads of self-doubt, then we won't have any confidence. And if we've got lots of confidence, then we're not gonna have a lot of self-doubt. So it's about building these bricks and we need to understand that these things don't happen overnight, okay? You don't just sign up with a mindset coach and boom, next day, you're the most overwhelmingly confident, strong person who's got willpower, discipline, doesn't give up easily, loads of accountability, sticks to the plan, never makes excuses, okay? That doesn't happen. These things are learned and that's why I'm coaching them to you, okay? We need to learn all these things and work on them exactly the same as we work on the body, okay? Exactly the same. Think of all these mindset things as reps in the gym and we need to do them every week and we need to do more reps and we need to go faster and we need to keep building up and applying progressive overload to the mind, okay, to get stronger because if we don't and we just allow it to drift off again, just like if you stop lifting weights, you're going to lose your muscle. If you were a runner and you were really fit and you stop running, you are going to get really unfit. So again, if we build this self-confidence up and it can be one block at a time until all of a sudden self-confidence is here and self-doubt is here. At the moment, for most of you, self-doubt is here and confidence is here. That's why you're here, okay? And I hate these wishy-washy comments that I see. I hate it when people comment on my adverts or they comment on other people's programs and they put something like it's really wet and I'm sorry but it is if you don't like that you'll have to learn to deal with it but I hope this works for me or I wish I could do that I mean come on anyone can do it everyone can do it okay and it doesn't matter whether you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth or you had the worst possible upbringing I didn't have, I had the worst possible start in life and I've done okay. And if you look at most really successful people, most of them weren't born with a silver spoon in their life. They didn't have privileged upbringings and they went through a lot of crap to get where they are today, okay? Don't ever forget that, okay? It's very easy to look in on other people and just think they've got it easy. They haven't. They probably went through the hardships in order to be able to get where they are, okay? But the reason why you are saying things like that is because of your mindset, it's because of the self-doubt and it's because of the lack of confidence. And that's what we need to build more than any nutrition plan and about any training plan and that's what this week's about okay it's about getting you to believe in yourself because you have to understand you know i i've personally smashed upwards of 1000 massive client results over the last 20 years okay the only variable in the plan is you okay everything else is the same you cannot defy science okay i don't care what anyone's told you i don't it's just not even up for debate, okay? If it is applied correctly, it works the same to any single person, okay? Energy balance is like a law of gravity. So if I hold this pen here, my very sexy apple pen, and I drop it on the floor, every single time it will hit the floor, okay? And I shot my bald head there. Energy balance is the same, okay? It doesn't work for some people and not work for others. And if it's not working, it's because you're not doing enough exercise or you're simply under accounting or not being truthful about what you're putting in your mouth, okay? That's the real truth. That's not up for discussion. It's not up for debate. It's a scientific fact. Energy balance is just as true as gravity, okay? So that doesn't mean though that it's going to be easy because we need to find how to get you into the correct energy balance on a plan that you can sustain, that's not restrictive, that you enjoy, that you can do forever, okay? Remember, this is not a do this, get that plan. That's where you keep going wrong, okay? This is a learn how to do something forever whilst being epically happy that you can sustain and live a happy and fulfilled life, okay? So confidence, 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 confidence. Confidence comes from saying what you are going to do 
and actually following it through. So what are we gonna say right now, okay? We're gonna say, I'm gonna ask Lee for help when I need it. I'm gonna track my food every single day. You're gonna get this in the contract, by the way. I am gonna post my exercise on the daily activity tracker. I am going to do 10,000 steps per day. I am not going to take any offence to Lee's critical feedback and brutally honest form of coaching because I understand that everything he does is designed to help me, okay? If at any time I am unhappy with anything that Lee has delivered, said or done, I must discuss it with him because this gives us the chance to talk it through and iron things out, okay? If anyone lurks in this group complaining and doesn't ask for help, I'm gonna virtually slap you, okay? It doesn't make you weak, it doesn't make you not confident, it doesn't make you not, not a strong person, it makes you bloody smart, okay? The strong, if you're in the most, if you're the most intelligent person in the room, as they say, you're in the wrong room and you need to get a new room, okay? So don't think you're weak by asking for help. Guys are the worst with this, okay? Um, they just, stubbornness, okay? Oh, I didn't want to ask you that because I felt really stupid. No, you're really stupid if you don't ask, okay? So, okay, building confidence is not born. Confident people were not born confident. They built it just like we build bodies, fitness, nutrition, training and reps. So it's not gonna come overnight. So be realistic about that from, out, from the outset. Now, confidence might be, and I'm gonna use this as an example. Okay, so, Let's say you go out drinking religiously every Thursday, Friday, Saturday night and Sunday afternoon. You're probably not just going to stop that instantly, okay? But let's say you make a decision, reduction, not removal, that I'm going to drive on Friday and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to drive on Thursday and I'm going to drive on Saturday and I'm still going to have a few drinks on Friday and Sunday, okay? The first time you do it, just like the first time you go to the gym, just like the first time you use MyFitnessPal, just like the first time you do anything, there will be alarm reaction. You may well fail and have to try again. That is just a lesson. And you will sometimes not succeed. But each time you do it, each time you go through hardship, it will get easier, okay? And you will start to build confidence. Once you've done three or four Saturdays on the trot and you managed to do it and you drove and now everyone stopped taking the mickey out of you and it's just become what you do, you will then become confident and do it. You know, this is the classic, you know, when we need to do something, we need to be firm about the decision, okay? This is the, cl the classic one is smokers. Person who is trying to give up smoking. Do you want a fag, mate? Nah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm trying really hard to stop. Okay, that is so weak, it's unbelievable. You may as well have said, just ask me again in five minutes and I'll definitely cave and have a cigarette. Okay, one, why is the person even with the person who's smoking? And two, the re reply should have been, no, I've stopped smoking, absolutely buzzing about it, it's going to save me a fortune, I don't stink, it's going to improve my health um, and I'm really, really glad I've made that decision. I'm not ever going to smoke again, okay? That's very different, isn't it? What, just look at the difference, okay? So you have to believe it yourself, you have to say it, you have to be firm with it and that's what will help build this self-confidence. Now, one of the other things that, so we build the confidence, but we also need to remove the self-doubt, okay? Now, one of the biggest causes of self-doubt is without a doubt, our inability as humans to delay our want for instant gratification, okay? So we start a training plan, we want the body straight away, okay? We want the car, so we get it on finance. You know, we want the dress or the shoes, so we get it on a credit card, and then we keep balancing it around. And, you know, food can be the same. You know, we just want that food straight away to get that sugar rush. And it builds into to every area of your life that. And when we are not able to control, sorry, some fluff in here, itch on my nose. Um, 
when we are not able to control this um, this desire um, to delay things without getting the gratification, that's when self doubt will creep in. Okay, so it's the classic. Did my nutrition plan, like I said, did my training plan for the first week. And straight away, people are like, do I need to do more cardio? Do I need to eat less food? Because I did this every week and it's been like seven days, man. And I stepped on the scales and they still say the same. It's like, it's been seven days, okay? You've made loads of positive changes. Some people will not lose weight in the first seven days. It's as simple as that. Some people will gain muscle and lose fat and weigh the same. Some people will drop 13 or 14 pounds plus, okay? Based on what they were doing before and the physiological changes in the body. But you have to trust the process. You have to believe in me and you have to believe in everything that we're doing, okay? And the best way for me to describe this is you. When, you know, if you have any doubts in my ability as a coach, go back on my Facebook page, read every testimonial that's never been rated less than five stars, read all the comments in the thread, read all the comments in this Facebook group, okay? And view the three, 400 plus pictures, okay? You should not have any doubt in me. If you do, you shouldn't be here, okay? So if you start doubting whether things are working and whether it's doing the best it possibly should, just think this, is Lee, as a coach and a business owner who loves to help people, wants to continue helping them and continue getting hundreds more people to sign up. That's my complete and utter goal in life is to help as many people as physically as I can before I die feel better through nutrition, training and mindset, okay? So am I going to do anything that's negatively going to affect your results, my business, my livelihood, my income? Of course I'm not, okay? Everything that we do is designed to take you forward, but at the optimal rate so that you can sustain it forever, okay? So we have to remove the self-doubt and it's very easy. And I did this in my early days as a coach with so many people, the client would like start flipping out because they weren't progressing as quickly as they wanted to. They weren't able to delay that need for instant gratification. So I would then start taking their calories lower, start putting their food up, start making changes every week. And all of a sudden we didn't have a clue what energy was going in. We didn't know what was going out. We'd messed around moving stuff around and you're completely confused. Okay. So you have to trust the process because being impatient will always lead to stupid and damaging decisions in the hope of making things happen quicker, okay? I ain't learning to play that piano to the level of Mozart in the next eight weeks. You ain't gonna end up like Arnie in the next eight weeks or your favorite fitness model, okay? We have to be realistic, you know, because otherwise it just leads to these things that people go down, you know, fat burners, performance enhancing drugs, zero calorie diets, overtraining, gambling on decisions, chopping and changing coaches every two minutes. You know, all these things are just plasters over self-doubt. It's the self-doubt and it's the confidence we need to deal with, okay? Because if you're constantly looking for shortcuts rather than doing the work, trust me on this, it will blow up in your face every time and that's why it has in the past, okay? I spent 15 years of my life looking for the next best sales funnel, get rich quick scheme, get shredded fast, build model muscle quicker than anyone else, get like Arnie in four weeks. Um, they don't exist, okay? And we have to change that in our heads. You have to stop looking for the path of least resistant. Everyone is just searching for the quickest and easiest way to do the amazing thing that they want to achieve. Let me tell you this right now, amazing long-term things that are amazing and epic and unbelievably amazing are not achieved easily and they are not achieved quickly, but they are achievable and we are gonna do that, okay? Now, a big thing that you'll have experienced in the past as well, and also what happens when we are looking for this quick fix, is it never ever works. And then it leads us into the victim mentality. So rather than say, do you know what, it's kind of my fault that because I was a bit of a douchebag and I'd eaten crap all year 
uh, and then I was going to Marbella in June. So I basically didn't eat any food in May apart from my uh, bowl of air that I had for, for breakfast, um, my water that I had for lunch and my broccoli that I had for tea. And then I lost loads of weight really quickly. Uh, and then I piled it back on and now I feel like crap and I've gained it and you know it just wasn't for me that diet and it didn't work out and you know that coach didn't really do what I wanted him to do even though I didn't do anything that he told me to do do you know what I mean and that's that's the victim mentality that we end in. We blame everyone else. It's everyone else's fault that we drank loads of alcohol. It's everyone else's fault that we ate loads of crap. It's the coach's fault that the diet didn't work. It's Slimming World's fault. It's Weight Watchers' fault. It's whoever's fault. It's not, okay? It's your fault. And we need to take ownership of that and we need to take responsibility for it. We're going to take ownership and responsibility of the good things we achieve, but at the moment, anything that's bad, we blame others, and that needs to change. We need to take ownership of the bad things, just like we're gonna take ownership of the good things, okay? And the reason why is, get your pen out and write this down, because all failures provide feedback, okay? And that's another thing that I want you to look into today when we're thinking about confidence and self-doubt, okay? What plans have you done in the past, okay? Why didn't they work? Was it because of you? Was it because it was too over-restrictive? Was it because of a lack of accountability? Was it because you didn't really stick to it? Hands up, I've done that before. Um, but whatever happens, we need to take that out and that becomes the building block of what we're doing now, okay? Now, a classic example to, to flip the perception of this and how we can do it. And this is how someone first explained it to me. And I think it's absolutely amazing. OK, so it's a partner cheating on their other partner. OK, so that's kind of an epic failure. Uh, it's a horrific situation. It's really terrible. Um, you know, it would batter our confidence as an individual and it would give us hurdles of self-doubt into getting with a new partner and any of that type of things, okay? Um, but what we need to understand is all those failures provide feedback. So we need to look into it, okay? Why didn't that relationship work out? What type of person were they? You know, what have I learned? Well, I've learned not to trust idiots so easily. Uh, I've learned to be more careful who I spend my time with. I've learned how it felt to have that done to me, which has internally taught me how I would never want to do that to anyone else. And, you know, it's also given me a great understanding of the situation. So should a good friend of mine go through that, I'm quite well placed in order to be able to deal with it. Again, the nutrition plan, okay? So why didn't it work? Was it me? Was it because it was too over restrictive? Was it because I was hungry? Was it because I didn't stick to it? Was it because the exercise was too tough? Or was it because I just didn't ask for help when I needed it and I just cracked on pretending everything was gonna be all right when deep down I was struggling and I should have been putting my hand up and saying, I need some help here, can you help me? Okay, so two examples there, all failure, provides is feedback okay but what you need to understand is everybody has self-doubt okay roger federer will have self-doubt when he walks out on on um center court you know any professional sports person any person who you look at them and you think oh my god he's just so confident he's just amazing or she um they will still have that self-doubt okay they will still have to work that confidence and it never goes away you just learn to quiet it a little bit okay and you know put it in a quieter space in your brain so that leads us on to the next part and then we are going to leave you with today's homework massive massive love on everyone who did the homework yesterday i think pretty much everyone did it so we are going to discuss winning or more importantly, win, W-I-N, okay? Write this down, W-I-N stands for what's important now, okay? So many of you have put some huge, huge goals on your questionnaires, which I love, but we need to break it down and we need to focus on what's important now. Because trust me, if your noggin is focused on losing five stone, you're gonna get pretty despondent, 
pretty soon because unless you're named Nick Lockerbie, you're probably not going to achieve that in the next eight weeks. Okay. So what is important now? I'll tell you what's important now is nailing your nutrition and your training on the very first day you start. So that will be next Monday, depending on what day you start. On. And losing that first pound on a plan that's sustainable, okay? Then we're going to aim to lose the next pound. I will build on this subject across the rest of the week and the next pound and the next pound, okay? So all we need to understand on is focus on doing a little bit more than yesterday, understanding nutrition, understanding the training, asking for help when we need it, and moving forward one step at a time. Remember the, the rabbit and the hare scenario, you know, it's not a marathon. We're not trying to see how quickly we can get there. We're trying to get there on a plan and a lifestyle we can sustain forever, which is what we all need deep down, because otherwise we're just gonna do something for a short period to get a goal that we can't sustain, okay? So, the number one task today is asking. This is the homework. You can post it in the group. Most of you will probably want to keep it private, but it's asking yourself the difficult question. So it's understanding the problem. Why are you where you are? OK, and you have to be honest because I drink too much, because I eat way too much crap because I'm lazy and I don't do any exercise and I haven't for a long time, because I've fallen into this trap of being a Debbie Downer and just feeling sorry for myself all the time rather than doing anything about it, because I'm not taking responsibility for my own behaviour, because I'm not asking for help when I need it, because I'm surrounding myself with the wrong people, because I keep making really bad decisions time and time again and not understanding why or doing anything about it, okay? So you have to be honest, you know. This is exactly like your first workout is gonna be. It will be very, very uncomfortable. You are going to have to be very, very honest with yourself about why you're in the situation you are now and the behavior that's led to it. But trust me on this, every time you do it, it gets easier, okay? just like training does, just like tracking food does, just like the exercise does. And when you start to lean into that discomfort and really, really get to grips with what behaviors you are partaking, partaking that aren't making you happy, this confidence is gonna go up and this self-doubt is gonna go down, okay? You are also going to start to feel like a metric F ton has been lifted off your shoulders because we carry all this pressure, don't we? We carry all this guilt of overeating, this guilt of not training, this guilt of drinking too much, this guilt of gambling, drugs, pornography, whatever disruptive behaviours it is that people partake in, which covers up the fact that something's not right, okay? Rather than dealing with the something that's not right, okay? And the more you lean into that, and the more you start to leave your comfort zone, you will develop like you have never experienced before, okay? Vincent van Gogh said, the, com the, uh, the comfort zone is a very, very beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there, okay? So we have to get, I always say this wrong, we have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and being really honest about where we are, where we are today. And that is today's homework, okay? So face your weaknesses, hit them head on, because this is what makes you strong, this is what makes you mentally tougher, and this is what is gonna allow your self-confidence to develop to epic levels that you've never experienced before, okay? And no longer are you gonna keep allowing your self-doubt to determine your self-worth, okay? Because self-worth is gonna go up and self-doubt is going to go down. So hope that's been helpful. Make sure you comment below. All these videos are gonna be posted for playback so you can catch up on them at any time. We'll be back tomorrow morning for day three, lesson three. Most of you are going to start receiving your nutrition, your training plans, everything on the app. 
Um, no need to ask any questions or worry about anything for now. Um, it will all become ultra clear in the next few days. Have an absolutely epic day and I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Take care guys.